I guess I didn't have the stereotypical entrance into science because as a child I didn't find it interesting. I didn't have a chemistry set, I didn't have a telescope. But it wasn't until I moved house aged 14, 15 when I was forced to take it up in this new school for junior cert because it was school policy. And very begrudgingly in I went and took up science, suddenly liked it and loved it. So I decided I'd keep up with physics for leaving cert. Again, really enjoyed it, was definitely my favourite subject at Leave and Cert. And then from there, I went to DCU to study applied physics for another four years. I still didn't have enough. I really enjoyed that. So I enjoyed it so much, I wanted to do another four. And I came to Trinity College Dublin and I did my PhD research focusing on nanoscience. So I'm finally Dr. Arlene O'Neill in physics. I would definitely encourage any female out there to pursue a career in science, technology, engineering or maths because they're all really great avenues to go. It's a very fulfilling area to work in. There's a great sense of satisfaction achieved from doing those four subjects really well. And I've experienced it and I'd love for others to have that experience too. I was a member of the Reserve Defence Forces for about 10 years, but I've recently just signed out. But what drew me to the Reserve Defence Forces was the fitness aspect. Fitness is something I'm really passionate about, so that allowed me to link in my passion for fitness. I suppose I don't have just one STEM hero because there's just so many out there. And in fact, I have a great awe for any scientist who's come before today that has enabled us to have a great understanding of the universe as we know it today. When I was younger, I don't think many people shared the excitement of science with me. So I'd love to rectify that and I'd love to share my excitement with as many people as possible about science. I was selected as the Dublin Rose of Tralee for 2012 and it was a great honour. I was very delighted to represent the mighty county of Dublin and it was something that my parents and my, well, particularly my mum and my grandmother have loved for years and it was something we all watched together so this is why I entered it. But little did I know of the incredible experience I would have and the amazing women of Ireland that are out there, many of whom I would consider to be great ambassadors for Ireland. I think that stereotypes are based on familiarity and what people are used to seeing. And again, I was one of those when it came to science and women in science, but I decided I'd challenge it and go forth and become a scientist. So hopefully I can inspire others to break that stereotype with me and let's change the face of science. Thank you.